Welcome to this video featuring the classic Porsche 911 in movies. This famous design was introduced in autumn 1963 and built through 1989. The car appears in hundreds of movies. So we had to make choices. Enjoy the video. Let's start with the Belgrade Phantom. This movie which is based on true events, is about a mysterious phantom who in 1979 every night drove in a stolen white Porsche, through the city streets of Belgrade. Over the radio he openly called the police to catch him, which was the first oppositional act in the post-war Yugoslavia. The police are forced into a game where he sets the rules. Several tens of thousand people went on the streets to support him. There's a saying, if you can afford one Porsche, you can also afford two Porsches. That surely goes for the production team, of the Chuck Norris movie Good Guys Wear Black. This movie features a white 1974 911, and a black one from 1970. In this 1987 movie, Charlie Sheen plays the car thief Ted Varick. Varick is a hardcore Porsche fan by declaring, I only steal Porsches, watch this great scene Varick driving a 911 Turbo. In the Danish-Swedish series The Bridge, Sophia Helen, as the Swedish police detective Saga Nureyev, drives a 1977 Porsche 911. This model was originally sold in the US market, but was imported to Sweden in 2009. The Jager Grun olive green color is a love it or hate it color, and is very rare. This famous 911, was auctioned off for charity for £125,000, with all proceeds going to Waterade. In Mystic Pizza, the Porsche 911 is in the film way more than once. This red cabrio with the black accents, it's quite a gem. It's a pity Julia Roberts didn't drive the car in this movie, because she knows how to drive a fast car, as she proved in Pretty Woman. So, that's fair. Uh, that, uh, that was a spare. <laughs> but she had other plans with this car. Beautiful! 
Team Commando, Arnold Schwarzenegger is in a car chase with a yellow 911 Targa. This movie has a remarkable continuity mistake. The Porsche is damaged in the side collision with the red sunbeam. But when Schwarzenegger flips the car upright and drives off, the side is undamaged. This Polish movie features a car chase between a 911 and a Lada 1300. The Lada is of course no match at all for the 911. That's what I thought. Unless you don't know how to drive a Porsche I guess. In car napping, designer Robert Maring loses his job because the company he used to work for, does not exist anymore. And in to make matters worse, his Porsche 911 is stolen. After learning that his former boss owns a car dealership in Paris, with 40 Porsches, he becomes the head of the car nappers who stole his car. And they steal all 40 cars in a single night and sell them. Thank you for watching this video, featuring the Porsche 911 in movies. Stay tuned, because there will be more classic cars in movies videos. Would you like to help me to continue making this videos? Please be so kind to support me via Patreon. For only $1 per month you get early access to videos and exclusive content.